you've got to hand it to The Mandalorian. This possible plot hole has fans talking. The Mandalorian season 3 finale is here, and boy did the showrunners prove once again that they know how to end a season. The return has all that any Star Wars fan could want, Mandalorians doing aerial combat with their jetpacks, Din Djarin going full John Wick, and Grogu finally putting his force training to work. However, there's one casualty in the episode that didn't make much sense. The Darksaber has been a contentious object throughout The Mandalorian. Whoever wielded the ancient weapon had the right to rule Mandalore, so Moff Gideon and Bo-Katan spent much of their time trying to win it back. However, in the season finale, Gideon does a complete 180, destroying the legendary weapon in his fight against Bo-Katan. The Darksaber is gone. While Gideon's motivations are confusing, the bigger question is how he even crushed the Darksaber with his hands. Not only does he destroy it, but he does so with relative ease, while somehow leaving Bo-Katan's hands seemingly intact. It's not enough to ruin the finale, but it's a glaring plot hole that needs more explanation. Star Wars fans aren't exactly known for their ability to let things go. So The Mandalorian getting rid of a powerful Star Wars weapon like the Darksaber has proven to be a controversial move within the fandom. One Reddit user commented after the episode aired, kind of upset that the Darksaber got destroyed. Other users had similarly strong opinions on the fate of the legendary artifact, with one fan calling it, quote, the second most emotional death of a non-character in the greater Star Wars canon. While it seems that most fans agree that the weapon's destruction was impactful, the conversation quickly shifted to how its demise ultimately made sense within the Star Wars universe. One user asked, how was Gideon able to squash the hilt like that? Another viewer replied, I think his suit may have had some mechanical improvements. But another fan pointed out that the Beskar's hilt should have withstood the hydraulic-assisted fist. One fan also pointed out that Moff Gideon should have completely destroyed Bo-Katan's hand if he had enough strength to crush the Darksaber. Other users took a different approach, suggesting that the death of the Darksaber was for the best. One Reddit user admitted they were happy to see it go, saying, Now the Mandos will just have to actually pick the best leader in the future. Another suggested that it plays into Bo-Katan's character development, writing, She needed to realize she is still the ruler of Mandalore even without the Darksaber. Fans certainly have opinions on how the Season 3 finale of The Mandalorian dealt with the Darksaber, but there's a slight chance that the weapon isn't gone for good. From what fans know about how lightsabers work, all variants of the weapon are powered by a core kyber crystal. If Gideon didn't crush the kyber crystal that the Darksaber presumably contains within, then its most vital component is still intact. Some fans are even pretty confident that the Darksaber will see a comeback in Season 4 of The Mandalorian or beyond. One fan wrote on Reddit, There's definitely a good chance it will get remade, yeah, the kyber crystal inside is probably Probably still fine. Some even took the theory a step further, with one fan suggesting it will be none other than the newly anointed Din Grogu who reforges the Darksaber. After all, the fresh Mandalorian apprentice needs a fittingly powerful weapon. Whatever the ultimate fate of the Darksaber is, its ostensible destruction in The Mandalorian's Season 3 finale will certainly have ripple effects. It seems, at least for a time, that the Mandalorians will have to learn to live without the ancient weapon.